your boy J Boogie back with another video, a special back-to-back -back video today on this Monday. So let's do another game four recap in the Western Conference semifinals of the Nuggets taking the victory over the Minnesota Timberwolves. Um man, pretty much like I always say the Nuggets have one of the best, if not the best, half court sets offensive set plays in the league. Their high screen and roll, backdoor cuts. These players know how to move off the ball so well. It's almost like they have this Dragon Ball Z effect, this ultra instinct type effect. And I keep saying this. I'm like, with a guy, when your point guard is the center of Jokic, and you can run all plays off him, he can see over the double team. So if you double team Jokic, these players know what to do next. It's not like they just panic. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, guys like Luka, guys like Jokic. If you double team these two guys, you got to know when to do it. But, you know, with that being said, as many double teams they do on Jokic, it was too many floor spaces opportunities happening with the three-point shots knocking down from the different Nuggets and made 13 made threes, shooting uh, 45% from the uh, three-point line. Like I said, they moved the ball so well. Um, it was basically keeping the defensive uh, tactics of the uh, Timberwolves at a very off-balance strategy because it was at times where they were going to communicate on defense when they needed when they needed to, especially off those high sprinting rolls off of Jokic and Murray. Um, but um, and you know, it's it, it just too much fluid in their offense. It just it's like a well oiled machine. And shout out to the Nuggets bench players, Reggie Jackson, Christian Braun, and Justin Holiday combined with 27 points off the bench. They did a great, great job of taking their opportunities, took advantage, did what they needed to do, knocking down threes, playing effort on defense. Um, you know, so shout out to them. Uh, they did a great job with that. And um, first guy I want to talk about, of course, is Nikola Jokic. Uh, he was aggressive with scoring powers. Um Rudy Goodberg, Carnage in the Times can't hope this dude. I'm sorry. Um <laughs> Jokic's got a big body and when he moved with quickness, when he moved with a lot a lot of purpose on the floor, on offense in the post, you can't stop that. And then it's like how he shoots the ball, he come way back here, but then it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's you know, it's I mean this dude to me it might be a reach to you casual fans out there, but this dude is kind of unguardable. You think about it because of the fact that when do you need to double team him? And then when he really want to move fast with the ball and he has good footwork in the post, come on, bro. It's damn. <laughs> Literally, like, when I say Jokic, it's a beast, bro. He's a beast. And in this game, back-to-back -back games, he showed why, you know, he won MVP and a third-time MVP winner. So, and then, of course, his playmaker was superior off the double team. Um, he, 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 he was just on in this game. And then the real MVP of this game is Eric Gordon. And for you casual fans that's talking bad about him, he's been put up 20-plus points in the playoffs before. And have you seen how he put up 20 points with the Magics when they was a playoff contender team a few years ago? This dude been getting buckets. He just know how to play his role well with this uh, with the Denver Nuggets offense. And um, well, Eric Garner, man, he was spectacular scoring the ball. Only missed one shot. Hella efficient, super duper efficient. Um, took advantage of the lack defense when he was off the ball. He knew when to cut. He was just reading the double team. He was like, hey, that's easily eight straight points off of me. It was just them double teaming Jokic. Um, did a great job shooting a mid-range shot. He was aggressive, took advantage of mismatches. Uh, he was very composed with his shot selections at times. Um, he wasn't rushing it. He was being aggressive at the rim. Hella put back dunks. Not a lot. I think he had like one. But... You know, he 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 was just he, he he was just going all around. He was he was he was just doing his thing, and um, you know, made two huge three point shots. So Eric Gordon in is is the perfect example of a perfect role player, player 
that played his role from start to finish. And he took advantage of the scoring opportunities. Um, Got to get credit for him for that because, like I said, playing off Jokic, your center, and knowing that he could shoot the three, shoot the mid-range, and then he could play make off the double team because if anything, you double team, Jokic is almost like it's a play setup because him and uh, him and Eric Gordon, they just read each other's mind so perfectly when it comes to double team. When the double team comes on to Jokic, and then he just know when to cut, and Jokic know when he's going to be there. So, shout out to Eric Gordon, man. He was a big, big, big reason why they won this game. And then Jamal Murakor is doing his thing. He was put on a mid-range clinic in the mid-range, getting buckets with uh, on them. And then he made a huge, incredible freaking half-court shot. And then, you know, he was staring down Reggie Miller, Jamal Crawford, and Kevin Harlan um, after the uh, half-court shot buzzer beater going to the half. And then I feel like that was a big momentum boost for them heading into the half. So, or in the half. And then, of course, his playback was top notch. Uh, and then, biggest biggest thing with the offensive system of the Nuggets, when Jamal Murray be aggressive scoring, and then you got Gokic moving that fast and, and doing all these kind of things just to be assertive, you can't really stomp them. Because then, when you double team Jokic, Jamal can shoot the three, and Gordon can shoot the three, and PJ can shoot the three, and KCP can shoot the three. So, Kind of like the Indiana Pacers, damn near almost the whole team can shoot the three ball. Um, so, so kudos to the Nuggets. Back-to-back uh, -back road wins against the Nuggets. I mean, uh, against the Timberwolves, they needed it. So, it's a big boost heading back home to gain some momentum. And then on to the Timberwolves, man. Um, the Nuggets offense was too much engaged for their defense. They were pretty much on their heels the whole game. Um the only bright spot for the Timberwolves as a team, they did a great job of just out-rebounding them, but that's about it. Um, <laughs> Anthony Earl was the only one that really showed up from start to finish, trying to carry his team to a comeback victory. Uh, you know, just trying to get some, get some momentum back. Um, he dropped like four to four points in this game. Um, he was, you know, he, he was putting on the clinic with three level scoring, inside, mid-range, three-point shots, driving in, in the paint. Uh, finishing at the rim, um, he was, and, and and basically, he played both ends with, with, with a lot of effort with defense. I think he had a key block and some two steals, and um, pretty much almost built this team into a comeback, but it wasn't enough. And then, um, Cat, Car Anthony Towns, bro, he got stopped playing so wild. He all over the damn place, like he got to stop. Like it's, he 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 literally needs to calm down. <laughs> like he's too much. He's when she once she started doing that, I I know this because I'm a Grizzly fan. We played the Timberwolves a few years ago in the playoffs. When she be all wild, complaining too much, pretty much his home game is thrown off and he shot a very atrocious I think it was uh I think it was like two and eight percent from the field. So he he was just doing too much in that in that game. He was just basically a, a, a non factor overall. And then Rudy Gobert he got to find some type of offensive back in this series. Now, in the post, do something because putbacks is cool, pick and roll is cool, but once you catch the ball in the post, you got to protect the basketball, be aggressive, and, you know, do something. Be more versatile in your productivity in the offensive system to Timberwolves. And then, of course, like I said in my prediction video, if the Timberwolves – if the Nuggets can get the Timberwolves into foul trouble out of cards any times, Rudy Gobert, it's, it's, it's a done deal. And another thing I did not like in this game, that Nas Reed didn't get no miss in the fourth quarter, and he was another bright gem outside of J.D. McDaniels and Mike Conley that was trying to help uh, Anthony Edwards. He didn't get no minutes. But Carl Anthony Towns got more minutes than him, and he shot 2 percent from the field. Mind blown. But we're going to see what happens in game five. Not as a series again, which I expect it to be. Like this video, like, comment, share, subscribe. I love you guys. Jay Boogie is out.